What is your the most memorable moment you've had that happened over a drink? Oh my God. I think the first night I took my lovely lady out to, uh, to dinner was in a Mexican restaurant and, um, <laughs> and I gave her a lot of uh, a lot of sangria and uh, it worked <laughs> so, and now she's the mother of my, my children and grandchildren so uh, so that was um, an important sangria or yes. two or three or four that sounds like a fun night <laughs> speaking of your children with the next generation and, and now grandkids have you and, and your daughter becoming more involved with the company have you had a heart-to-heart -heart about balancing work-life balance and has she come to you with questions <laughs> My daughter's the sensible one in our family, ah. um, so she's the one we, we go to for advice. She was a, she was a, you know, um, a trained doctor, um, uh, mm -hmm. she was head girl at school, so she, she, she was very, uh, yeah, very, very, very sensible um, and fun as well. So I don't need to have a heart to heart with her. She has to have a heart to heart with her dad occasionally. Um, uh, opposite. Uh, but I think. You know, I mean, if I did give them any advice, um, you know, I, I, I do think getting that balance is very important yeah. in life. And, and you know, I, I uh, play hard, um, work hard. Uh, you know, I you know, play tennis in the morning, tennis in the evening. I kite yeah. surf, I, and I look after you know, look after the body. And you know, if you if you're healthy and well, then, then everything everything stems from that, and, sure. and everything's possible. Obviously, today's a busy day, so <laughs> if you're not drinking tea, like, what are you going to be drinking tonight? I drink, <laughs> I drink about 30 cups of tea a day. 30? So, okay. Yeah, so. I, I, am, I am a complete uh, tea addict. Cheers. Um, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Very English. Yeah. Mm. How did today compare to other um, surprises in the past? Well, were you, were you on the street Oh, today? yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> We create uh, quite a lot of fun businesses around the world, um, mm -hmm. and our team work enormously hard to get it right. Um, you know, I look at this beautiful floor. I look at you know all around me. It's just every everything they've done is fantastic. The least I can do is then try to make sure people <laughs> people know about it. And um, so uh, uh, so they um, they come up with these wonderful fun ways of um, putting. Um, you know, like the Virgin Hotel or whatever it is we're launching on the map. Um, and that was an iconic film. Um, uh, it was uh, Chicago through and through. Yeah. Was um, it the first idea they pitched? To yeah, it first? was the first idea and they it was pitched just like, to me. Perfect. And, um, <laughs> uh, and yeah, my initial reaction was not so, so much that it was perfect. I mean, I could, I could see it was absolutely perfect if I was 25 years old. <laughs> Um, I'm approaching 65, so I thought 65-year-old rock and rolling. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I thought screw it, it. Was great. Screw, it, screw it, let's do it. And, it was fun. Uh, they, they were the most wonderful, uh, fun young dancers, mm -hmm. and um, I think we wrecked a uh, we wrecked a Tesla by jump, <laughs> jumping on its roof. Oh yeah, was there any scratches? How? Would that? <laughs> I don't want to look too closely. Yeah, right. Um, would you say life gets better with age, or do you look back um, at your 20s and want to go back? Uh, I think that uh, as long as you as long as you keep healthy and fit, I think life gets better with age. I think um, I mean I, I'm loving every minute of my life mm -hmm. today. You know, but look, there's obviously a, a, a little bit of me that uh, you know just occasionally. I, 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 my wife knows this. I'd love to just go back 40 years, um, uh, be, be outrageously bad and misbehaved. Um, <laughs> but then, but then, very you know, that's in my dreams. And then, quickly, be back and married and, and mm -hmm. happy with grandchildren. Right, right, <laughs> totally. Are you getting used to Gramp, the name Grandpa, or do you? Well, they're not old <laughs> enough yet to say it, but um, it's, got yeah. to be, it's got to be Grand Dude, not Grand Dude. Oh, I like um, that. They, um, <laughs> Never they, heard I, that. <laughs> I've had um, yeah three grandchildren all in um, all in the last two months, and uh, oh so we've gosh. been very lucky. Congrats um, we, on we that. Spent, Lots of time with them, and uh, you know everybody, everybody who has children or grandchildren mm -hmm. thinks they're magical and the most beautiful, you know, creatures on earth, and, and of course they are. <laughs> yeah. What's um, a company that you've funded or like provided advice to that doesn't necessarily have the Virgin name that really excites you? Because I know you have your pitch to Rich and um... uh, some a company like Indiegogo uh, mm -hmm. is very exciting. Um, I think. Uh, crowdsourcing type of companies I think will be the future mm -hmm. um, and 
you know, we were, I was delighted to, you know, um, partly fund that when, uh, in the early days. And lots of great ideas come from Indiegogo. Sure. Um, so, um, so, you know, we, we, do, we do fund quite a lot of companies without the Virgin brand, um, you know, Twitter, uh, Halo. What's something different than from when you started? Um, or is it kind of the same today that what you look for when you hire people? I don't think things have changed, it really. I mean, I, you know, we look for the kinds of people who genuinely like people, who genuinely care about people, who look for the best in people, mm -hmm. who bring, you know, who draw out the best of people, who don't criticise people, um, and and um, and it hasn't changed in the last forty years. I yeah. think um, with, um, if you if you if you're a great leader of people, you'll be able to create anything, and and a company is just a group of you know, a group of people, yeah. um, and you know, this hotel is a good example. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just full of vibrant, you know, people who are proud of what they're doing. Well, our big question is: if you could have a drink with anyone, they could, they could be dead or alive, who would it be? George Clooney um, ah. said said um, was asked that question, and was strangely, who asked him that? That's our question. <laughs> okay. Well, he, and he he said Richard Branson because he said that he thought that I, I led a fun life, and my wife, of course, immediately said. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll swap you for him for 24 hours. Um, but, uh, but thinking about it, he's married this rather beautiful lady. So I suppose I, I, I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to swap as well. So it looks like we're just going to have to have one of those swaps. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. All right. I wasn't expecting that answer. That's a good one. Well, cheers again. Congratulations yeah, well, nice on the you. hotel. So nice to meet you. Pleasure. Thanks for being here. Thanks for doing this on your crazy good luck, day. Good luck with your exciting uh, venture. Yeah, well,